So this is the benefits of object orientations. Orientation. So first thing is uh, faster development. So fast, it, we can develop our application very fast because I have a clear uh, informations uh, in my object oriented analysis part then the second part is i am having object oriented design so in in object oriented design clearly i am having information about what's the relationship between uh, one class to another class what are the parameters we are having so what is the sequence of my operation what is the uh, my data flow from one class to another class how it is uh, flowing so this all informations i am clearly i am having in my documentation part that is my designing and up, up analysis part so we can develop our application in minimum time okay we no need to take more time uh, by using our traditional method we can use our oead and, and we, we can reduce our uh, development time okay then the second thing is uh, reusability so reusability so def definitely we are using uh, many classes and objects so one class will use uh, many number of times within our uh, project okay so we are achieving reusability Okay, so if we are achieving reusability, our number of lines will get reduced. Then again, our project execution time also will get reduced. So, increase the quality. So, if our number of project on the tip faster develop, no, we do. Other than reuse, panda the tip codes on the tip now reuse panda. My codes are develop on it. And the codes reuse panda the number of lines reduce size. So, my product is quality. Easily I can modify. Easily I can maintain. Okay. So it will be a quality product if we are using object-oriented analysis. And that. Okay. So modeling the real world and provides us with a stronger equivalence of the real world entity objects. Okay. So with the help of object-oriented design, uh, we are going to provide one clear idea about our object, how it's going to work in our real-time world, real-time objects. Okay. So clearly we can show it in simulations like that. Uh, information okay and the last thing is uh, raising the level of abstract and abstraction to the point where application can be implemented in the same terms as they are described so we are raising the level of abstraction abstraction of being as in a economic tag and information some other which you get it have another information some amount of high political and abstractions okay so we need to extract the essential information we need to display only our essential information in object what information we are going to show? We are going to show our uh, function, that is our operation and attributes. Oh, okay, so this is what we are going to do. We display it. So, we are going to show what information we are going to show. Just we are going to define our uh, abstraction level. So, here we are going to raising our abstraction level. Okay, right. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. 